His smile said it all, home at last. Al Jazeera cameraman Samuel Hajj arrived in Doha to an emotional welcome. And after spending so many years in detention, confined and tortured, Sami still could make the difference between government and people. I want to make clear that I have no animosity towards the American people. On the contrary, I have very dear friends there. I even have very strong friendships with some of the soldiers and the interrogators at the prison. Family and friends, colleagues and members of the public gathered at Qatar's airport to greet him. All came here in a show of support for a man who lost so many years without ever being charged. I feel very bad because the United States it should be a country of freedom, country of uh, democracy, and they have taken somebody without any doing, doing anything, without doing any harm to the United States or to the American people, and they put him in jail for six and a half years. The happiest, however, were his wife Asma and his son Mohammed, who hasn't had his father at home since he was one. In his little voice, Mohammed says he can't wait to take his father to all his favorite places. But his wife Asma wonders if Sami will ever fully recover from his ordeal. It will take at least a year for Sami to recover. I don't think he will ever be the same man. After six and a half years, there is no way he can return to the old days. For everyone at Al Jazeera, his release is also vindication after years of a relentless smear campaign against the channel by the Bush administration. We have always maintained that Sami is innocent. And we have always maintained that Al Jazeera will continue doing its roles. We have been accused. Yes, that is correct. But today, I can tell you, when Sami right now is free, he's amongst us, we can tell everyone that Al Jazeera has always stood for free journalism with integrity, with balance, with dedication for this, for this great profession. And definitely it is a great moment in our history and this great moment as well for our audience and for all those who love free media. It was six years and seven months ago that Sami left from here, the Al Jazeera headquarters in Doha, to go on assignment like any of us journalists would do. However, his return ticket took him to the most infamous detention center in the world at Guantanamo Bay. Now he's back, he intends to resume his job, but the memories of what happened there will stay with him forever. Hod Abdelhamid, Al Jazeera, Doha.